Uh, next ratio that we had wanted to talk about was debt to equity. Uh, so this this one basically tells you how much debt is being used to finance your assets relative to your equity. Right. I mean, one of the things that's very important to figure out is where is money coming from, and is that money being used well? Is it is it helping to grow the company or not? And one of the things that I like to consider. Uh, is the debt to equity ratio. There are various ratios that you can look at, debt to assets, et cetera. I happen to prefer the debt to equity ratio because it's telling me how much of the money is being financed by loans and how much is being financed by investors, okay? Again, if you have a debt ratio, debt to equity ratio, that's above 100%, um, it makes you wonder a little bit because you're saying, okay, well, there's a lot of debt on the books here. Um, relative to, to how much money has come from uh, investors via retained earnings or, um, or, or the stock offering uh, initially. So in the case of these two companies, um, what you want to find is you want to find a debt to equity ratio that is below 100%. Lower is typically better than higher. Um, and, and again, since both of these are very big companies, um, you know you shouldn't fault them for having some debt. So again, somewhere between zero and 100% is great. And Christine, would you do the honors and tell us what those numbers are? I'd love to. So Pfizer clocks in at 58.18 and BMY comes in at 47.69. So that's right in that sweet spot that you're talking about. And the advantage again goes to Bristol. Yeah, Bristol Myers edges out Pfizer on this metric again. So we now have it edging out Pfizer on the current ratio, and we now have it edging out on debt to equity ratio. Now, there's another point, or another takeaway that I want to make. The reason that we're using ratios rather than absolute numbers, I mean, you could look at it and say, wow, well, you know, Pfizer has more total cash on the books, right, than Bristol Myers. Um, or you could say Pfizer has more total debt on the books than Bristol Myers. But you got to recognize too that these are two companies that have different they're different sizes. Okay, so you got to normalize that, and ratios allow you to do that. Okay, right, so it's a, Pfizer is almost double the size of Bristol. Yeah, so you, you can't just say, well, you know, Pfizer's got x billions of dollars more on the books than Bristol, and make a that you know, and have that really tell you whether or not. You know, one is more financially healthier than the other. I guess.